Hello, chums, and welcome to another blood curdling edition of Let's Play with RC here on Video Chums. Guys, we have Zombie Army 4 Dead War 4? Zombie Army Dead War 4. Zombie Army 4 Dead War. I don't know. It's. <laughs> I know the official title, but the, the logo is weird. It's really strange. Zombie Army 4 Dead War. For those of you who have been waiting for a Left 4 Dead sequel, this might be sort of an answer for you. I have not played any of this game yet. Uh, we just got a key for it. I'm excited to jump in, though, and slay some zombies. Uh, but basically, what you got here uh, is a co-op zombie killing adventure. Uh, so I figure what we'll do here uh, is we will uh, jump into the campaign and play a level or two there, and then we'll jump into Horde and see what that's all about. Give you guys a look at what we got here with this game. Um, let's jump in. Kill some zombies. What do you say? Now, I, l I know a lot of people were kind of hesitant with this game because people are tired of zombies, blah, blah, blah. Guys, zombies are here to stay. You like horror movies? Well, I hope you like zombies too because they're not going anywhere. Zombie movies are going to be around for as long as Dracula's going to be around, for as long as, you know, Frankenstein, the Wolfman, all that stuff. Zombies, I, I feel like, are sticking around even longer than a lot of those classic monsters. But um, I got to say, I really like the uh, poster here. My webcam is kind of... Uh, blocking it here. Let me show you real quick. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that great? This great poster here with the zombie on there. I really, really like the look of that. Uh, oh, my back. Here we go. Okay. Just make sure everything is kosher with the stream. Um, but yeah, let's jump into uh, some uh, campaign here. Uh, I guess we'll jump into a new solo. Well, no, you know, let's see if we can quick match into a cooperative one. I'd rather play with people. Uh, so use select mission to customize. Okay, so you got dead ahead, which is selected. It looks like we haven't uh, unlocked these, but we got death canal. Uh, we've got meat locker, zombie zoo, rotten coast. Is that molten nightmare? All roads lead to hell. <laughs> uh, is that hell base and hell machine? Lots of hell in there. Uh, these posters are great. These are uh, excellent, excellent addition to the game. Anybody who, uh, you know, they, they definitely look like old school posters, but, you know, mixed with a little bit of a modern feel with the zombies on the front and everything like that. Um, apparently there's going to be DLC as, as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, the only thing we have unlocked is Dead Ahead, so we're going to go with that. Uh, head back, and let's do... Quick match, cooperative. Oh, okay, so you got to pick different things here. Let's do Dead Ahead because we haven't played anything else yet. And let's find a game. What do you say? Oh, here we go. And I have not really adjusted what my character looks like at all. You joined an in-progress game. You have a short time to repair your loadout. Okay. Well, considering I haven't done any of this previously... I suppose I'll just stick with what we got. Already selected. Okay, so there's like a whole thing here. You got perks. You got weapons. When down, to kill an enemy to revive. Okay, so that's going to be helpful. I guess, uh, yeah, we'll just stick with <laughs> whatever the defaults are here. It looks like we're loading into an actual game here, so let's jump in. The end of the line. Monitoring those volume levels. Oh boy. We are in. Got one. Well, things are splattering real good in this game, that's for sure. That one. I think the game is uh, helping me out just a little bit. A little bit of aim assist there. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna change the volume here. Yeah, I gotta turn this volume down just a little bit. I wanna blow everybody's eardrums out. Down to about there. That should be good. All right. So uh, my impression with this game when I first loaded it up is that the menus and stuff like that run. Super buttery smooth. Uh, I was very impressed with that. 
regroup at the fortified gate. Oh, left shift to climb. Okay. Learn it as we go here. Left shift is also uh, run, which you do have a stamina bar above your health in the bottom right there. It looks like I play with one other friend here. We honestly really expected to get like a full team here because we are, you know, this this game is brand new. It just came out. E to take ammo. Where do we get ammo at? Shoot the practice dummy. You big dummy. You can mount that thing. That's pretty cool. That's fun. And I didn't really mess with the options too much. I wonder if there's an FOV setting for this. I'm gonna have to jump in and check that out. Here we go. Here's some stuff. Okay, so you gotta hold E to refill your ammo. There we go. Refilled. Uh, the reason there may not be a whole lot of people online is it would seem, or not it would seem, uh, but it is, a, at this moment, I believe, an Epic Store exclusive, which is what we were playing at. We are playing it on the, the Epic Store here. We stood our ground against a damn zombie army, but we're running from a few measly earthquakes? Kind of sounded like Goofy for a second. How do you slide? Let's see. Uh, how do you talk? <laughs> Over there. <laughs> Okay, so you can place markers. Okay, so they got the apex thing. Uh, if you want to draw your teammates, poon, da, 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 da. press T and then one. Oh, I see. Okay. You can jump over that. Okay, so that's space bar is actually your melee. That's not a jump. Learning things as we go here, people. Took you so long, eh? I thought we'd have to leave without you. Sorry, no such luck. What's all this about anyway? Orders came this morning. Milan's not safe anymore. No problem. Got a document. The enemy of my enemy. So you do have collectibles. That's interesting. I want to look up, let's see, controls, we've got vibration, no, why would you ever want that on? We're using mouse and keyboard anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, where is mouse and keyboard, movement, weapons, oh, you could stomp with C, inventory, with Q, okay, use a med kit for, multiplayer chat, why? There we go. No idea of the sliding. I just started playing, man. Oh, this is cool that you can snipe zombies from way back here. Can I shoot this? Look at that. That's fun. Environmental kills. You do have some explosive barrels over here, too. That's fun. We're doing a lot of sniping so far. Okay, we do have ammo to, to refill over here. Also a good thing. And I like that there is a combo setup too. You can keep shooting and killing and racking up the combo. So we got a times three now. That's how many kills we got so far. You quick reload. Get the fire thing. There you go. See, all your stickers and your service record. What is this about? There's a sticker album in your glossary of everything to do with Zombie Army 4. When you perform certain accomplishments, such as completing levels or performing unique actions, you'll be awarded with a sticker that is automatically placed in your sticker album. Okay, cool. I didn't even know that I got a sticker. I'm going to refill my ammo real quick. And it looks like we got to go that way to move on. What do we got over here? Okay, we got a med kit. Always important. 
And we got pistol ammo, which we don't need. Actually, this is pretty fun, just like shooting zombies way up here. I gotta be honest. Like, I could probably do this for a while. <laughs> First one I missed, way over there. Reload. There we go, there's one. There's one way out there, got him. There's no Oh, look at that! Oh, it cut away too quickly, I couldn't see it. Actually had like a close-up, like, glory kill of the, <laughs> of the zombie. That's pretty sweet, actually. Hopefully we get another one of those to show off. So I know that uh, this game is the first standalone game in the series. Uh, I guess uh, all the other games have always been mods. Uh, and I believe it's for the uh, Sniper Elite series, which is a series I have not played before. I've heard good things about it for a while. It's just a uh, series I have not gotten around to playing. But either way, I think this is pretty, pretty damn cool so far. Look at the <laughs> gross jiggling heart on the plate thing there. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Get to the safe room. Yep, sounds a lot like Left 4 Dead. We open the crate. Oh, we got a frag grenade. Oh, chapter complete. Okay. We've done it. Oh, there's your XP. Okay. So climbs your XP right up. We've ranked up. Our first level. Rest in pieces. Dismem dismember 20 enemies. So I gotta say, uh, big fan of uh, how snappy everything is in this game. Man, like, uh, hold F to place an equipped trap. Okay. You see this here one? You can use it to switch your old weapons to nice shiny new ones. Oh, really? Don't be shy. Oh, and they have upgrade stuff. Workbench. No crap. You have the right path. Edit weapon. Select the upgrade you want to apply your upgrade kit to. Um, let's see. Slightly reduce the rechamber time. Increases your scope. Charged over time. When primed, the next round will be an explosive shot. Let's buy this one. Okay, there we go. We got our first upgrade. Okay, great. So there's a little bit of depth in this game, too. You can upgrade your weapons. You already got a med kit. I'm good on that. Oh, and there's like a whole area down here to check out, too. What's up, man? Come to take some pot shots at the dead man, have you? Nah, I'm good on that. I think we're good on ammo as well. Okay. But yeah, I'm very impressed with this so far. I love how snappy everything is. The menus and everything work really well. Everything seems pretty obvious as to like how you do things. Like, I was like, oh man, there's gonna be a lot to learn. And don't get me wrong, there's still gonna be a lot to learn with this game, like the nuances and that kind of thing. Uh, playing it online several times to really get the feel for it. But I gotta say, like, I'm pretty impressed with just the overall feel and snappiness of this game. Uh, let's see, I want to go to options. The one thing that is weird about this game, you might notice it on the screen, that I have it set to windowed, and I tried to get it to a 1920 by 1080 for recording this, and I got it as close as I could because it won't actually let you set numbers in the menu. I actually had to resize the window myself, so <laughs> I got it as close as I could, which is pretty funny. Um, I'm looking for an FOV setting, but I don't really see one, so... What do we got here? Oh, it shows you all the collectibles in here, so... There's uh, one out of three upgrade kits, there's one document... There's zombie hands and comic pages, so there's all kinds of stuff to collect. So, this, this game, I'm assuming, is based on the fact that they think you're going to be replaying the chapters over and over online with people to keep collecting stuff, which is pretty cool. 
that they add in a reason to keep playing the game, you know, if you're not sure where stuff is at. F while highlighting a weapon or sharing with team. Oh, you can share stuff with a teammate too. Okay. So I'm assuming the guy I'm playing with is pretty new too, because he seems to be kind of pussyfooting around like I am, which is good that I'm playing with somebody else who's who's new here to the game. Board the train on platform five. Oh, we got a cutscene. Whoa! The Nazi zombies were driving the train. Just so you guys understand what happened there. Spooky music. Nice. These guys in their hats. Yeah, so what I was saying earlier, though, is that this game is exclusive on Epic, and I know a lot of PC gamers right now are kind of, like, boycotting the, uh, the whole epic thing just based on the fact that they, uh, are taking exclusives and that kind of thing. Um, so that might be why there's not, like, a full team to play with tonight. I don't know. The controversial game launcher. Okay, we've got zombies coming up the ramp here. Hey, we got a zombie sticker. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know who did that, but I'm running back. And I'm mounting this thing. I didn't realize there was a zombie up here. I will say this is pretty awesome, though. I had a times 26 multiplier. That's insane. Oh, the zombies are coming in from the bottom. I didn't realize that. Okay. Nope. No, an no ammo. Crapola. Oh, they're also dropping in. You see that? Shot him in the butt. You guys can't deny it. Shot him in the butt. Uh, a turret. Now this will do some chaos. Never gonna get tired of blowing him up like that. Okay, he's done. Oh crap. They're just dropping in from everywhere, aren't they? Now, I do see some abilities in the bottom center there, but I'm not quite sure what they are. There we go, threw a grenade. Oh, I messed that up. Grenade throws a little bit strange. You're gonna have to try to get used to that one. Boom. Reload. Who else is here? They're not quite dead. They don't stay dead. <laughs> I just love that that voice so serious 
A train full of zombies just crashed through the wall. Alright, let's collect our ammo here. Looks like only one at a time. Right there. Alright. That was, that was pretty fun. Just a wave base like normal zombies coming after you and everything. Nothing, nothing crazy. Alright, we are going to be dealing with zombies around the plane here. Keep it going. I can figure out how to use those, uh... Those abilities are in the bottom center there that are kind of hanging out. Stay down. Oh, totally missed that guy. That guy just exploded like crazy. More dead coming off the train. This guy's voice, hilarious. So serious. All right. I have found a supply train. Want to try out some other guns here? Where's your pistol? Trench gun. Okay, so this is like a like a shotgun or something here. What is this? What am I looking at? Like a bunch of dolls and a candle? What, what is that? Oh man, I love that the med kit thing is so quick. That's great. Stomped a, stomped a corpse. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That was pistol ammo. Alright, so we got ourselves a shotgun now, which is awesome. I don't think he's dead. Shot him in the butt again. Butt shots for the win. Plenty of areas to refill ammo. So far none of the game has felt like super dangerous or anything like that. But I think we are playing on an easy or medium difficulty, so we are making it pretty easy on ourselves. Not gonna complain. Back to the old rifle here. Oh, we got a guy we can. Whoa, they're coming back. What was that? <laughs> that zombie sound was truly scary sounding. Are they coming back to life? Oh, reload. Oh, you got him. Just wanna blow that thing up. Oh, there's one there. See ya. See ya. A seal. That was starting to have sort of an Evil Dead type of <laughs> type of look to it. Okay, what are we looking at here? Still ammo is full. 21 shotgun shells here. So the only drawback of this so far that I'm seeing is that, like, 
and it might be because of the difficulty I'm on or maybe because we're in like a super early version of the game I'm not sure but the don't seem to have too many different types of zombies which is kind of what I was hoping for melee stomp melee stomp I like stomping zombie corpses that's pretty gross pretty grody Hey, someone joined. Hello. Now we got a real crew going here. What do we got here? Not sure. Music is starting to get sort of that, like, uh, 1980s synth type of sound to it. I dig it. John Carpenter, George Romero type of feel. Can't go wrong. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. I keep thinking space for jump or vault or something like that, but it's actually left control. Somebody found a zombie hand. Animals full. I guess that's the game's way of saying, hey. Oh, I see. So that middle button, the space bar, is my uh, melee. And that has a cooldown. Now that makes a little bit more sense as to what it actually is. This thing is like, shoot me. <laughs> What if, why? What does it do? Okay, so we shot that one to get us started, I see. There's one way over there. Okay, I got that one started as well. Don't know what they do. Oh, they create some kind of electrical field that kills the zombies. Okay, that's kind of cool. They can stop even when they're not around. Oh my god. What's up, dude? See ya. See ya. Uh, let's see. So that's for weapons. I was trying to see how to uh, switch my extra secondary thing, like my grenades or my mines or traps, or whatever that is. See these guys trying to sneak up on us from the back? Just keep going and get to that train. You can still make it. All right, we shall. I found a grenade. Shotgun ammo plus two. All right, changing the shotgun. Pistol ammo don't need. Rifle ammo. So we got a full party now. This is great. Stay dead. Stay dead. Who's next? Who's left, I should say. We're gonna switch back to shotgun here and see what happens. Refill that ammo. Wow, we cut to a cutscene. Oh my god, look at this guy. I was just talking about special zombies. This looks like a special zombie. <laughs> Good god. Oh, this guy's toast. Oh my god. Oh, that's pretty great, actually. I don't remember seeing Suicide Zombies in Left 4 Dead. That's definitely a new one. I need a better vantage point. So I can actually see things. This 
guy coming down the stairs. Get him. Oh, someone got him. Oh, jeez. That's going to be a good uh, multiplier for somebody. All right, so you can set the mine this way. Okay. So the zombies do get close enough. Okay, and you can throw the grenades just like so. All right. That's cool. I feel like I got a couple kills with that one shot there. Whoa! Okay, guys. It's met up. There we go. I'm gonna refill ammo real quick. Oh, there's a robot. Need a teammate needs help. That's somebody need help. There's another one. You better get back over there. Get to the safe room. Shotgun shells? Oh, you can use a vending machine. That's funny. I like that. It says weapon crate, but I don't know what that means or what happens with a weapon crate. Let's find out. Uh, that, that is not what I wanted to do. Okay. There we go. Another kit for upgrading. Thank you, thank you. I like it. Yeah, I'm digging it so far. This is fun. I could I could see myself playing this with a couple friends, you know. If it ever comes down to that. Remember last October, uh, me and a friend of mine were like craving, you know, playing. Uh, oh, we should probably probably flush. Yeah, good idea. We were craving playing a, a, a horror game for October. We played. We actually went back and played a little bit of uh, Left 4 Dead. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2, to be exact. And uh, it was fun. It was fun going back to that game, even though it's several years old. What was that game, like, 10 years old now at this point? It's still fun to play. It's still such a, such a well-made game, you know? All right, well, I think that's it for me. Going to the safe room. Shooting the wall, buddy. Oh, and we do have a workbench. Ammo is full. Med kit for me. There you go, chapter complete. Let's see what my score is. 122, if you got 175, then you do even better. What did we get up to? Unlock the Brain Buster Pistol Weapon Assist. We are now level 3. Very cool. That's great that there's progress in this. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, at this moment, we are going to exit to main menu. Abandon our team here. And uh, we're going to check out Horde Mode before we uh, run out of time here for the, the video. Uh, let's see. But yeah, let's just quick match into one of these. Yeah, we'll do any. Why not? Wow, that matches up real quick. I'm gonna have to see what the options are for switching what my player looks like. I didn't see, like, any... Oh, here we go. Character. There it is. So you got Boris, June, Carl... Shola. Oh, and then you can buy these characters. Oh, that'd be funny to play as the, the undead dude, for sure. And you get that as part of a season pass, apparently. I do like that they put... The, I, I don't like that they do the, uh, you know, uh, microtransactions in the game or whatever. 
Um, but I do like that they put the prices in there. That's pretty nice. So if you really, really like this game, you can buy the season pass and get char new characters to play as, which is pretty cool. So it's good incentive to buy, uh, you know, a season pass if you're just like super in on zombie games, you know. I know there there is there is a crowd out there, you know. People out there who just love to play multiplayer horror games, you know. Uh, another big one is Killing Floor. I know that that one's like got a following. And the funny thing is, when we played Left 4 Dead 2 last October, um, it was pretty interesting that we were still able to, like, fill up the group with actual, you know, four people. Pretty interesting. All these years later. Look at these zombies with the huge armor packs on. Oh my god. So it seems like with this game, though, uh, from what I've seen of other reviews and, and uh things I've read about this game. Um, hope we can spectate and jump around between different characters. Uh, what I've read, though, is like it's this game is kind of what you see is what you get, you know? Um, they do have a lot of different, uh, you know, uh, maps and stuff to play on and everything, but you're still just kind of fighting zombies and you're, you're upgrading weapons and stuff like that. And that's pretty much what I found out, but it's like, if you get enough joy out of that kind of thing, then... You know, by all means, this is probably a good game for you to, to to grab onto. So we get we get to join in at the next wave. So they're going to take out these zombies here. So it looks like I'm going to be joining in when things get a, are getting a little tough. So we'll find out what happens. There we go. Melee that thing. Hey, I'm in. Okay. <laughs> I love that I, I come in when uh, she's in the middle of, like, stomping zombies to, to death there. It's pretty great. What was that? Hold to replace what? Okay, let's try a different gun, I guess. Oh, we got some groovy music starting here. Nice. You can turn on the propeller and it sucks him in and takes him out. That's pretty great. Environmental uh, kills in games. Always a, always a fun thing. Trying not to get uh, too far away from my, du my dudes here. Horde mode supply drops. Supply drops containing weapons and items will be delivered during your battle. Okay. Yeah, I was looking to see where... Okay, the supply drops over this way. I see. Is that zombie got a chainsaw? What does he got? Oh, he's got a minigun. Or not a minigun, a, a Gatling gun. <laughs> Armored Giant. Is uh, how we're referring to him, I suppose. out of uh, ammo. How about that? Did that? Okay, that didn't do anything. Oh, it keeps hooking you up with one. Oh, no! No! The host left! Oh, we were just getting into it, too. Let's see if we can get into one more round here. I guess it just starts it over if the host leaves. That kind of sucks. So just let the game keep going. Okay. Well, we're starting from the beginning here, so let's give it a shot, see what happens. Guess that's it. Okay, so it's just me and him. Everybody else left. Why? Incoming wave. Might be useful. 
Almost full. How about this thing? Where are you? Aha! Coming in behind us, huh? Dirty. Dirty players. There they are. Oh, look at the big thing in the sky. Wow. That definitely explains the apocalypse, doesn't it? Oh my god, I'm not killing any of these guys. We're gonna throw one of these, what do you think? Yes. I love that the zombies don't, they don't jump down. They kind of just fall down. <laughs> they take like a little like, oh, and fall down. I love that. Very, very funny. Whoa. Okay, kills are happening. Oh, they were happening, and now I can't hit the broadside of a barn. Oh, I see. That's counting down how many zombies you got left. Okay. Let's refill. You got over here. A teller mine. Okay. Here they come. So that's cool. The uh, horde mode stuff is basically just like playing, uh, you know, the campaign, except you're stuck in basically like one small map. Uh, but it works. It does work pretty well. Throw that in there. See how this works out. There we go. That's a nice, that's a nice hit. Should take the zombie's helmet and put it on, man. Oh wow, we're already almost done with this wave. Oh! Behind me, huh? Nice. Nice kill. I have found a supply train. You have. Oh, he okay, we got an armored guy. I'm going to put a mine down, what do you say? Get a mine kill. Have him walk right in there. There we go. There, we got the armor off. Thank God. I think it takes a lot of hits. Mouse 2 plus E. Okay, so that is the secret ability in the middle there. Don't, still doesn't explain what the thing is on the right. I know what the melee is. Oh, I'm low on ammo. Oh, hey, hey, dude. Gotcha. You can hold space to do a special melee attack. Oh, okay, I see. That's the thing that's in the middle. I thought I was talking about the thing that's on the right there. All right, we don't want to get too wrapped up to hanging out in here because... Oh, gee, yeah, okay, no, actually, that's a good idea. Get up there. Oh, wow, there's a lot of armored dudes, and I don't have any... <laughs> I don't have any ammo. What are we going to get in here? Is that? All right, we are gonna set one of these. They run away. Let the mine do its job. Run! Okay, he's down. Oh man, the two left are giants. OK, 
Okay, one, one down, one helmet off. fill up again <laughs> this is actually pretty tense and pretty fun and the uh, arcadiness of it really reminds me of like uh, I think because of the music as well uh, the music reminds me of like a zombies ate my neighbors type of thing man I love that game great game in the 16-bit era near area about to unlock so this is what I like about these maps is that they keep uncovering new areas in it that's pretty cool There we go. New area to explore. Zombies to kill. I'm digging it. All right. So who's in here? New ammo crate. Really like the sound effects in this. Like they're just super arcadey. I love that the developers kind of knew what they were creating with this. It's like part scary but part just fun, you know. Oh, you can only use that propeller once. Oh man, I wish I could use it right now. Would have been great. Ah. Oh my God, who's hitting me? Oh my God, there's a. I had no idea about that. Run, 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 run. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. That was intense. I didn't even know those guys were there. Jeez. Oh, my God. Okay, we... We are not doing good right here. That's for damn sure. Plant. Trip mine there. That's cool. I didn't know the trip mine was in there. That's how it hit that guy. I think he plowed right through it. Freaking jerk. No ammo. What is this? I'll take that. I think <laughs> I think this has made this let's play uh, completely worth my time to finally get a flamethrower. There's a turret over there too. I cannot believe this guy is still alive. I've been pumping him. Is he immune to this? Down. Oh, take him down. E. There it is. Take that. Jerk. Hey, we ranked up. There we go. I got a new gun now, too. Sweet. Oh, look, and you can grab his gun, too. That's awesome. Alright, we got dudes coming in from everywhere, it would seem. Oh, he's got the uh, flamethrower with me now. That's awesome. I love that you can take their weapons and use them like that afterwards. That's sweet. Alright, yeah, we gotta take out those armored guys with what we got here. I am almost out of ammunition for this thing. I don't know that we can actually get more for it, but... No, we can use the turret though. Oh, the jerk. Okay, we're gonna dismantle from that for now.
Let's see. Oh, definitely pick up that med kit. What do we got here? Thompson. I'm terrible with gun names and what they do and <laughs> what they hold and everything like that. Okay, so the, the ammo supply crate change positions? I'm assuming it did. Because we can get weapons from there. But I, Oh, here we go. Ammo crate. Very good. That is exactly what I needed. Thank you. I keep forgetting you gotta hold E to do that. Oh my god. No! Oh. Planet. There we go. Run. Run. This dude is right there. Now we got a couple zombies with that, but nothing crazy. Nice explosion. Oh, jeez. Like Trent Reznor was running behind me or something. <laughs> Alright, things are not looking too good for me here. Down to the pistol. It's not this guy. Running. Oh, God. here. Yep, that's cool. We're gonna get some ammo. We're gonna switch back. I think my partner's doing all the work here. Well, I'm, I'm keeping up with score. I think it's because of the turret, though, to be honest. We're gonna refill one more time here. We're doing pretty good here, making it to wave seven. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Oh, this does not, uh, that does not refill. Just in case anyone was wondering. Now the zombies seem to be... Oh no, we have a friend who joined. Okay, great. I was like, the zombies seem to be throwing grenades now, but... <laughs> that was, was not the case. Seems like we keep trying to get the next person to join in, but they keep disconnecting. I guess it's because you gotta wait for the wave to, to finish before you can join. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought I shot his head off. It was just his helmet. Alright, who's next? As if we were just we we're awaiting them. Armor giants are here. Whoa! We got a feisty one here. Oh, geez. Okay. The crazy ones are coming after me. Oh, jeez, I'm standing right in the fire. We should probably not start fires right there. Just saying. One more. Where is he? There we go. Yeah, 
E. There we go. Hey, you found him. He's just kind of hanging here with the shield. That's pretty. <laughs> Who threw that? All right, guys. Um, I gotta say, I, I'm I'm really digging this. I think this is a really, really cool little game. Um, I think that, uh, like like all the things I was saying before, it's very snappy. Uh, shooting feels pretty good. I love that there's all these different abilities and there's all kinds of different types of zombies. The campaign probably moves a little bit slower compared to Horde mode. Horde mode gives you a taste of what's to come, like, pretty much immediately, you know? Um, oh, jeez. One right behind me. How'd you get here? They're, like, crawling up here. Um, but yeah, tons of fun. Especially if you can find, like, good people to play with. But it seems like we we got a pretty good uh, team going here. We got these crawling ones here. Oh, jeez. I'm sure those stickers that we're getting, those would normally be like achievements on Steam and stuff like that. My assumption, anyway. Crawling zombie is a completely different one. You sh shouldn't underestimate those. They, they crawl, but they crawl a little bit quicker than the other ones, and then you, you can't see them either because they're not eye level with you, which is weird. You wouldn't think about it that way, but it is the case. But yeah, snappy, snappy gameplay, fun gameplay. Uh, definitely is just, uh, you know, wave-based zombie game. If you like shooting zombies... And you don't mind that that's what the game is, and the game knows that's what it is. I think you're going to have a ton of fun with this. That's for sure. Where's this last zombie at? Where is he? And you can tell that it probably needs a couple, couple little patches here and there to help out with the game, you know what I mean? But, uh... Oh, jeez. Stop him. There we go. Like, characters just sitting there with a shield like that. They probably need to update that, but overall, like, for a game that just came out, you know, a game that just launched, this runs really, really good. So used to games coming out nowadays where there's, like, always some kind of... <laughs> always some kind of issue or problem. Patch incoming, you know? Constantly. Sniper zombies? Wait for that su supply drop. That sky is still freaky, isn't it? Whoa! Yeah, I think this is a game I'm gonna pop into every now and then and just just play like a few rounds or play a horde every uh, horde mode uh, every now and then. Oh wow! Look at this guy. Oh my god. Oh no! No! Wow, we got sniper zombies. We've got... Did he just, like, jump that green mist, like, over the other side over there? We're gonna heal real quick. There we go. That guy. Wow. It's like a big butcher dude. Oh, okay. You've got to you got to grab that weapon, dude. Yes, we've got to buzz saw some dudes. I'm gonna buzz saw this guy. <laughs> this is great. Woo! I really don't care if I. That's a way to go out right there. <laughs> Kill zombies and recover. There we go. We're back. That buzz saw thing is awesome. I dig that. Shoot him in the tank. I think they already got him. Oh man, things are not looking up for me.
He's up there. Yeah, look at that. He could tr he could jump around. That is crazy. Oh, there's a frag grenade to pick up. It's great. Well, guys, like I said, uh, definitely uh, recommend this one if it, this looks appealing to you in any way. If you like horde-based games, co-op games like that, yeah, I think you're going to dig this. But guys, don't forget to subscribe to us here on Video Challenge because we come out with Let's Plays like this and gameplay videos all the time. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my own personal YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash watchggrc because I come out with all kinds of other types of video game videos like vlogs and reviews and all that kinds of stuff. So, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, beware of zombies. And, oh my god, what a time to go out. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Ah!